A driver has been charged in a fatal car crash that killed two recent high school graduates. This incident happened Saturday morning in the northwest suburbs. NBC 5's Jen DeSalvo live for us this morning outside Schomburg High School with the very latest. Jen. And Michelle, this is where they went to high school at. This is where they graduated from. And the high school today will have support services for anyone who needs to work through this tragedy and is having a hard time right now. Now, this is supposed to be a happy time for people graduating high school. But Saturday morning, tragedy struck when the two were killed in an automobile crash early in the morning. Police responded to a call just before 9 o'clock on Saturday morning in Hoffman Estates. It was just off the tollway at this busy intersection of Higgins and Barrington Roads. There was a bad three car crash and four people needed help. Two of them were 18 year old Amelia Mazikis and then her passenger, 18 year old Deshaun Tadella. They were rushed to the hospital, but they were too badly hurt. Both of them passed away as a result of their injuries. The driver accused of causing that crash, well, he survived, but according to charges from the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, it was no accident. Yesterday, 32-year-old Denny Rubio from Elgin was charged with five felony counts, two counts of reckless homicide, another two for aggravated DUI, that caused the death of the Schomburg High School grads. The school district offering condolences to the students, families, friends, and community, while saying in a statement that Mazikas and Tadella had with bright futures ahead of them. And this devastating news affects many in our Saxon High School community. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there will be support services today for those who are grieving. The man in custody, he will be in court today. Later this afternoon, he has a bond hearing at the courthouse in Rolling Meadows.